yeah i know this looks kind of weird uh when <laughs> it's not in context but don't worry uh hello everybody welcome back to another video from at youtube and i know it's been really long since i've posted a video but today i've decided you know what let me do something different i'm not gonna sit down in a chair and talk i'll be drawing and uh, this is just a little bit of a voiceover you know and uh yeah today's discussion or topic is destruction and creation hope you enjoy Okay, just because I'm not sitting on a chair and answering some questions doesn't necessarily mean that I won't be answering some questions, damn it. Um, well, I guess let's get straight into the first one. Well, okay, what is creation and is it necessary? Well, creation is necessary in order to push out the old. If, if we get stuck to the old ways, like let's say uh, washing clothes, it's oh, let's just say our hands will be rough as hell if we continued to wash the clothes the same way that we used to do centuries ago now we have newer and advanced technology to pretty much do it for us same as same as dishwashers basically i mean like if if we were still doing it the old ways i know plenty of people who will be human dishwashers in general or well now since that's just the case but that's that's not to say that we didn't take inspiration from the old the concept is still there but with the newer technology now we still have the things washing the clothes and washing the dishes for us that's this concept is still there it's still a necessary thing for us but it's just that it's done in a completely different way now isn't if that's the case then isn't destruction a path to creation well every act of creation is also an act of destruction now, hear me out the creation of something new and different some something that has not yet been demands destruction of the old and the typical what is now and what has come before the presence of destruction is at the core of the creative process itself let's say we want to uh i mean i can literally talk about on, on this topic like for for hours and then but just to uh, give another example let's say we have a row or not really a row on the street we have houses and shops and all that stuff yeah let's say in order to make way for the new the much better looking i can literally um I, I won't show you a picture of it but this is actually something that is happening right now a part like just a bunch of houses that used to be where they used to be um is now being demolished and being just replaced with what looks like something beautiful i swear it's yeah and it looks pretty good so in order for the new to like bloom and the technology to be seen the old well the concept still being there has to um let's just say be replaced in general if it's necessary now uh, why are some things broken why why are some things that are broken why, why can't they be fixed for example relationships well for someone to be broken beyond repair they have to well just give up on life for them to be broken beyond repair but for something to be broken beyond repair it has to be really smashed into pieces most likely intentionally to make way for the new or accidentally out of carelessness in the presence of the new the old is cared for less but let's just say you uh for example you get a new phone yeah and on the first day you treat it with the utmost care like like you when you place it down it's it's like if if it even makes a sound when you place it down you're like oh crap uh no no, no i'm gonna put a cushion underneath it or like let's say you get something new and then you treat it with so much care that it, it's like 
a completely it, it's like some holy grail but then one year later you uh you just drop it on the bed but on the bed pretty soft so it's fine and that's it two years later it's a completely completely different story you can you, you can throw it up in the air and not give a crap if it smashes and breaks on the ground it's like oh i i guess that's it this is the end of that life like, let me get a new one now and it that cycle kind of technically it repeats it, it that cycle does repeat but uh i guess that's a for a discussion for a whole different video and you treat it like trash due to how old it is our, our new phone like how old it is or your new phone i mean trust me it's different with parents though i believe unless you air their calls anyways <clears throat> uh, moving away from that is it possible for there to be only creation or only destruction because we will not destroy we are unable to create because we are unwilling to become destroyers we cannot become creators one could in fact say we don't dare to imagine new possibilities and realities as doing so inherently destroys our cherished but limiting actualities and current modes of being well okay let me sum summarize that up for people who are like what what, what, what is this what is this uh, 13 uh, year old kid sing I, I, I were heard it right, let me let me summarize that in summary of what I legit just said it basically means we will not dare create I mean destroy what we already have to create something new because of we we, we, we can't imagine the new possibilities and something new because it will just completely shake up our realities and what we are used to we, we think something that is like mind-boggling like self-driving cars and then when that is like replaced with something else i really don't know if if like even me it's hard to just stay say oh crap this since this is being replaced by something even better it it destroys not really this no, it doesn't destroy well no, wait it kind of just shakes up what we think are our limitations and it is limiting us in general all right so uh then is it possible for that to be only creation did I legit? I, I'm, I'm, I'm repeating myself. I'm sorry. Right. Sorry, my bad. Um, why do we get upset when things are destroyed? Well, it's the attachment, the attachment that we had to that thing, that that person, or really anything, that that makes us genuinely upset for when it's destroyed or broken or the person is deceased now when when something or someone has gone or in a human's case deceased or in a thing's case has been destroyed or replaced we we, we personally we we can't really let go fully and completely let, let me uh bring back that uh relationship example we, we, we don't always really and truly let go of what has been or maybe what even could have been to be honest now i guess that is the case but why have i named this video beerus then you might be wondering depending on a, if you're a fan of uh, the series i'm just about to so mention dragon ball super anyways <clears throat> he so <laughs> wisely said <laughs> before creation must come destruction stating that nothing that is created didn't necessarily replace anything now i hope that makes sense because if it doesn't i'm going to really really try to explain it in uh, the community tab somehow when i try to think about it more now okay now i have mentioned things being destroyed yada yada replaced and i just slightly mentioned humans but barely now <clears throat> let me get on that topic of humans for humans creation and destruction is that we we create things to get rid of the old but what about our creation and 
is the decision even well i don't even think it's a decision uh, i mean personally i don't like saying death but i guess in this case i might have to or death i mean it's a general thing that happens to literally everyone i mean should we really be scared of it anyways that's that's again another question for another video maybe <laughs> anyways uh so yeah what are, what about humans well our creation can come out from another being me personally not believing 100 percent on the big bang theory now hear me out but some aspects i.e there being a supernatural being that caused the big bang theory uh, did i just say caused the big bang theory anyway caused the big bang but that that's just me personally now if there was no such thing as destruction aka death departure from this earth there will be no space for the new and if there is no death we might be happier yes but overpopulation will be a huge problem now i'm not gonna try and mimic um any funny huges so, um yes <laughs> that will be a huge problem i mean we have homeless people even though even with the seven billion people we have we, we, can't, we can't like it, now just imagine if there was no death whatsoever no destruction at all whatsoever overpopulation will be will be an even worse problem than it is already i mean <laughs> i mean okay in conclusion destruction is necessary for people things and it essentially balances everything out uh now I, I actually originally wanted to cue the avatar theme with the whole balance thing but i don't really think this is the best time to do that anyway uh, that's not really a wrap because i still have like three more minutes of discussion and talking uh i guess uh, i can continue talking <laughs> oh my days uh but there are generally some setbacks on keeping the new uh, some advantages with the old you can you can build on it and make the new but with studying how to build on the structure a lot better and better than better better and dismantling it of course but the setbacks are if you hoard on the old and there's no space for growth or the new now i really can't stress on this enough first of all i on just genuinely how crucial destruction and death yes i'm saying the word again can be i mean it, it's it's mind-boggling how something like that can actually be necessary for for that to be space and for for growth in general then uh it just has to be um and yeah i guess i really wanted to end this with what is your favorite beavis quote I, I genuinely did want to end it with that question and I guess I am really not going to, yeah. But the thing is, destruction and creation when it comes to human beings, yeah, when it comes to things, it might be necessary, but when it comes to human beings, it's not our place to be destroyers of ourselves. That is for when our, our time comes, everyone has their own different time. And when that happens, it happens, yeah. That, that that's when people again are deceased but really in conclusion in, in conclusion to this topic of destruction and creation it, destruction is as necessary as creation because for us to not let's say you want to dismantle something to see how it works and to improve it something like that is genuinely necessary so in conclusion to this topic destruction destruction is just as necessary as creation and and we need it in to improve ourselves and we need to be able to do it to see that you know what we don't have such limitations that we think we do we we can make things better than they already are yeah and i guess just really the way it is and the way it is in general anyways now you might be wondering matthew why are you drawing then if this whole thing is about creation and destruction and you've titled this video beerus which has got nothing to do with drawing then why are you drawing well let me answer that question for you and this drawing well the first one that i'm doing anyways is about two sides one side is a completely just 
<laughs> just destroyed and crumbled and decayed place a street that's been abandoned in general and the other side is what we can refurbish it how, how it'll be basically and just to show that basically we, we, we can if we set our minds to something we can we can create it and make it happen yeah and um yeah the second one i was actually talking that that was more like relationship in humans one half is just uh ouch the pain of a you know broken relationship and the second half is well when someone is is fine in in general and it, everything is going well with their lives now i really hope that you enjoyed this video and this discussion thank you for tuning in thank you for staying this long and if you have managed to stay this far please i'll really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel that you'll really be helping a brother out now stay tuned for the next video and that will be coming sooner than you think maybe but again no promises i guess i'll see you then and i guess yeah this is my join i hope you enjoy it um yeah um <laughs> And I'm just about to do my second one right here. I really, really can't stress enough how, how thankful I am for you to stay this far to the end, right? At the end of this video. And uh, I really will see you in the next video. Hope to see you there. That's it folks, that's a wrap, I've always wanted to say that, peace. Know that they ride or die, I keep boys by my s- Know that they ride or die, I keep boys by my s- Day we hustle, but the night we- Know that they ride or die